It was the small size of Michael Jackson's childhood home that left the biggest impression on Betty Beatty. It's just amazing how nine kids can grow up in such a small home and then to come out the way he did uh, as a superstar. Very impressive. This is the third time Beatty has visited the home at 2300 Jackson Street in Gary, Indiana. She joined thousands in recent weeks who came to Gary from far and wide to pay their respects to the late singer. From my years of coming back, I've never seen this many people come down to see um, the old house. Sean McDonald is a Gary native who now lives in St. Paul, Minnesota. His aunt went to school with Michael's brother, Jackie. While he is sad to have lost one of Gary's most famous residents, he is pleased that the city is getting some attention. Gary, Indiana is it's really a nice place. It's just that it fell on some hard times when the steel mills uh, went down, but uh, some really nice people here. Gary's official celebration of Michael Jackson, just days after the star-studded memorial in Los Angeles, was a chance for the city to show its love for a hometown hero. Thousands of people filled the baseball stadium in downtown Gary to watch local talent honor Jackson by performing his music and imitating his iconic dance moves. One highlight of the celebration was Jackson's hit song, Thriller. About 500 people from a local church dressed in costumes and faithfully reenacted scenes from the music video. Despite the controversy surrounding Jackson's recent life, Mayor Rudy Clay is proud to call Gary the birthplace of the King of Pop. Michael Jackson put Gary, Indiana on the global map. Anywhere you go in the world, if you are a Gary citizen and you tell people that you are from Gary, the first thing they will say to you is, that's the home of Michael Jackson. We're proud of Michael. We love Michael. Mayor Clay wants to honor the family story with a memorial to the Jacksons and to Michael Jackson in particular. Most Gary residents support this idea. Mayor Clay says the land for the museum has already been chosen and plans are underway to make Jackson's childhood home a permanent shrine. Clay says the city is working on a grant to help fund the projects. Well, we're working to uh, make sure that that entire area is a historic site. We're going to do it in about a two block radius and make sure that home is a uh, shrine, so to speak, to the Jackson family. And uh, that is going to happen. At the height of Michael Jackson's career, there were several failed attempts to build a museum in Gary. Mayor Clay hopes that in the wake of Jackson's death, the singer's fame will eventually help lift Gary out of economic decline. Get your t-shirts, get your picture. By generating revenue from tourism. Hey, refrigerator magnet! Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Gary, Indiana. Long ways, representing Gary.